Should Christians celebrate Halloween? You're a Christian, right? What could the darkness give you that God hasn't already given you? You hear what I'm saying? Like, what is the gain for dabbling in that darkness? Because God has already blessed your life. I mean, right? Ask yourself, are you doing it for society? Is it your family members? Do you feel peer pressure to do it? And you're a Christian, so you read the Bible and you know that you are a child of the light, so you have absolutely nothing to do with the darkness right? And you're probably asking, Jesse, I mean, like, it's Halloween, dude. Like, what am I supposed to do? Everyone else is going to be doing it. Well, I just encourage you to do exactly what you've been doing for the last 364 days out of the year, which I'm assuming is reading your Bible, getting closer to God, spending time with family. Yeah, but my kids want to have fun. Well, get them a bag of candy and go play video games with them, unless it's something more than candy. Here's the deal, and you're not going to hear a lot of Christians say this. So in the book of Isaiah, you learn that that God created evil. Uh-oh. Well, then again, you knew that he created everything, so why wouldn't it be that too? But as you read the Bible, you understand the teachings and principles of Jesus Christ. He doesn't want you to live in that evil. It's almost like it's there to separate the light from the darkness, giving me and you a choice to choose. Was it not God that created skeletons, the color black, things that crawl in the night, spiders and cobwebs and pumpkins? And we even know that in the book of Genesis that when God created everything, he said it was good. But it's what we do with those things is what makes it good or evil. And do you see where I'm going with this? If you truly are a Christian, a child of the light, what can the darkness benefit you? Yeah, but it's just one day. Exactly. Why even give it a day, an hour, a minute, a moment? Why even give it a thought? And if this made you upset or offended you in any way, especially being a Christian, then you need to ask yourself, am I under a spell? And I can guarantee the day that you say I will no longer be celebrating Halloween will be the day that you shine the brightest. And I pray right now for you to put on that spiritual armor because the day that you do that will be the day that you will be fighting. To a spirit that has been roaming this earth that has embedded itself into each and every one of our generations. And when we do, we call it by name and we rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. Share this video only if you're not going to celebrate Halloween.